Hey everyone, it's me again. Um, it's been a while since I made a video, so decided to make a quick one. Been a bit sick lately, so I haven't been able to play, let alone record for you guys. Um, let's see here. I guess we'll talk to. What am I supposed to do? Persuade the Jarl to, to use White Run. Where is the Jarl? Probably up in his room. Let's go look for him in here. I think he's sleeping or something. Yeah, he's sleeping. Unusual gem. May the gods watch over your battle. Sort of wake you. I need your help to trap a dragon in your palace. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. That's what I just asked. Hmm. It was important. Of course. You already saved White Run from that dragon. I owe you a great deal. But I don't understand. Why let a dragon into the heart of my city when we've been working so hard to keep them out? All He's returned. The world eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? I'm a dragonborn. It's my destiny to stop I him. don't know about such things. But I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? It's the only way. I want to help you, dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while a dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. What if I didn't... What if you didn't have to worry about an enemy attack? Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme. But getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. Hmm. Leave that to me, I guess. I, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons. And this war into the bargain. Okay, let's get out of here. No doubt, he thought it was the only way to make his point. And also, because he knew he could. Let's go talk to Arnir. That greybeard guy. Yeah. Looks so much better with armor. But I wish they had like a really strong kind of cloak armor since I'm a magic caster. Magic blowing up an entire town. Okay, I should just fast travel. Slaughter fish. Let's head inside. Let's see what he says about this peace council meeting. Let's see, where is he? Is he outside?
Check the map. Is that him? Yeah, he's probably outside. This place is confusing. What is going on? Is in here? Oh, there you are. Aldwin? We heard the Dragon Ren shout from here. You defeated him? Yes, but he escaped. I need to find this poor I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. And we are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the way of the voice. I'll worry about the capturing. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. Y'all, Balgruf won't help me while the war rages. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Partanax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Are you ready to host the Peace Council? Deliver the message to the warring parties. If they will listen, I will do what I can to bring them to terms. Okay. Breath and focus. Let's head back down. Okay, so Wolfric Stormcloak. He's in Windhelm. Guess we'll talk to him first. He's up in his castle, I guess. Never even stepped foot in his castle before yet. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet Someone stole my sweet roll. <coughs> give us a straight answer. You hear the news? There's a dragon roosting up on Mount Anthor. Go to the <coughs> We've intercepted Korea. Ah, sorry, guys. The Empire is putting a great deal of pressure on the Look at this guy. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. Do I know you? I was at Helgen. Ah, yes. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. I was set free. I could have gone anywhere. I came here to fight the Empire. A fair point. Well, you've come to the right place then. Speak with Galmar. I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of Helga. Seems we're all branded villains these days. So long as your criminal past stays in the past. And you fight for me with honor and integrity. We'll welcome you into our ranks. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, speak with Garmar. I have a message from the Greybeards. It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? To want to negotiate a truce until the dragon menace is dealt with. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. 
Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. I'll persuade him. Alduin, the world eater of song and legend. If that's true, well, it changes the situation, doesn't it? Even Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. So you'll come to the Peace Council yes. then? I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. He knows that. They all know that. Alright, let's How go talk to the other guy. Going to wait? You think I need to it's got a nice palace. Rubbish. Okay, who's next? All the way over here. Solitude. Hmm. Being old's not so bad. Powder keeps me fed. Well, let me check this shop real quick. Never mind, it's closed. Just gonna see if they add any um, giant toes that I could buy in here. I mostly deal with castle door. There he is. That was quick. I remember you. You were at Helgen. Speak to Legged Ricka. I suspect we could use someone like you. That's not why I'm here. I see. Then there's nothing further to discuss. If you change your mind, speak with the Legate. The Greybeard. I bring message from the Greybeard. What do those old hermits want with me? Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. They are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. Hmm. Uh, dragons are a bigger problem. Well, you may have a point. It's getting difficult to even move troops around without attracting a dragon attack. By all accounts, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as badly. Even Alfred might see the sense of a truce under these conditions. You'll come then? Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. Alright, let's head back. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Versions. Every day, more talk. <laughs> the Greybeards have called a peace council at High Rothgar, and can you believe it? Let's head back to the Greybeards. Let's see what this meeting has to say about all this. of violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace and I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Don't worry, I'll get them to agree peace. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table. And let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim.
Where the hell's my seat? So, Arn Gear. Is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? You are not invited here. You are not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the Dragonborn on this path. Were you? Hubris of the Blades truly knows no bounds. <coughs> Delphine, we're not here to reverse <coughs> the tragedy. The matter at hand is urgent. All doing must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know hmm. a great deal about the situation and the threat that all been How they know about oh, this? You need Anyways, let's go try and look for the sea. Is it outside? Uh, oh, it's over here. Very well. You may hmm. let's sit down. Guess I'll wait. Oh, there they are. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I'm really sick. Come on, let's get going with this bow wow. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats. So we can begin. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of... you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that foul more bitch. Either she walks or I do. Hmm. What's the harm besides Talias doesn't really want her here either? Maybe so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Talias needs to know I won't be pushed around. Hmm. It feels like a mistake to me. But I'll bow to your judgment. But she is to observe nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Oh, Frick, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your fathers and killing your sons. She's supposed to be on our side? You know exactly. No. Not this time. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be able to We're here to arrange a temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the Dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace. Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. 
So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, I'll this is outrageous. List. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? Hmm. I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely... What would the Empire want in return? Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that... traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Hmm. Well, Dawn. In exchange for Markarth, the source of most of Skyrim silk. Hardly. Riften seems like a better choice to me. Well fortified, easily resupplied from across Lake Honric. Plus all the mead we can drink. By Lake Riften. Not enough to outweigh the loss of Markarth. With the reach in enemy hands, our whole position in solitude would be threatened. Finally, I'm glad you agree. I was starting to wonder whose side you were on here. You heard the man, Ulfric. We've made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks, or are you just here to posture? I expected better from you, Dragonborn. I came here in good faith. And now it seems you help the Empire at every turn. As for you, General Tullius, I see now that Garmar was right. Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. If you think you can hold Markar, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to Nathalmor. Skyrim will never again bow to your false Empire. Let's go, Garmar. I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me, and I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the World Eater. Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does it Shut have up. to do with the... Shut right up. About Alvin. We both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Now, back to the matter at hand. Don't yeah, hand sit me back a of sheep's piss and call it me. These terms are still not acceptable. I'm sure you have something in mind. Damn right we do. You surrender your march to us, and take Idgrad Raventhorn with you. Surely the Builder will take over as Jarl of Morthal. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? It seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. What say you, Dragonborn? <sighs> sure, what are... like a true son of Skyrim. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, 
Jarl Edmund will step down, and Thongvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Makar. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. Jarl March will be turned over to Ulfric, with Sorley the Builder assuming the Jarlship. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Elisir? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Delmar. We have a lot okay, of work. we're done with that. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan. Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains. How to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can. Of course not. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the Library of Skyhaven Temple. An unguessed trove of lost gold. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that all of us was there. How does that help us? Don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to retrieve this dragon after your victory over all. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. So ah, what's his name? I'm no master of course, like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here in the scroll. Oda Fiend. Winged snow hunter, as I read it. I hope this truth gives you what you need. It won't last. Okay, let's learn to shout. Call dragon. What do I do now? So prepare for the trap. Gives you what you need. It won't last. <coughs> There's one more thing we know about Parthenon. There's one more thing. We know about Parthenax. Yeah, you just said that. Know what? Parthenax. The dragon that the Greybeards have been protecting for all these years. He needs to die. He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. Until Why? he's dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. What do you have against if they had their way, you do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. 
Have they tried to stop the civil war or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? About Make your house. choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Why does Here's he need to die? Picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. Maybe.